Valeria is my domain. Bow low before your king, or face his wrath. Doppelgangers!
This is King Dorgalara? My... my father? No, sister. This creature is not your father. It wears his shape, but it is a denizen of the Abyss. An ogre! Osalia. Lord Father, you recognize me. My natural born, Osalia, dear. Blood pours out to blood. At last I shall return to my true. He deceives you, sister. Don't listen to him. Be 
be gone! This is the world of men. You have no place here! Tis true. I am no man. I am a god. A god? What god could be so foul? You are an ogre! Chaos Gate speaks! What power is this?
It's opening. We'll be pulled in.
place will soon collapse. When it does, the Chaos Gate will cease to function. This is no place for you, Warren! Perhaps not, Denim. Farewell. Oh, great Zephyr, dance unseen. Fly across Heaven's Veil. Pah! What are you doing? In the name of the Great Father Philaha, you are hereby crowned our Sovereign Lord, Queen Vesalia Oberith, Defender of the Realm. Let no man gainsay this sanctified ascension. I will not ask you to forget all that has happened. No. We must remember why this war began, what we lost because of it, and what we achieved. We must tell this to our children, that we never forget. Kashua, you have a great task before you, sister. Why do you not heed me, brother? I know how you must feel. But what of my feelings? I don't want to lose you. Our father is dead. A hard truth. But a truth all the same. In all the world, you are the only one bound to me by blood. I couldn't bear to let you die. Forgive me. I... I know my words will not sway you. Only promise me. Promise you'll never leave your sister. I did not want to lose you, sister. Blood be damned, I will not lose you again! I'm sorry, Denim. How could I have been so selfish? Can you forgive me? That's behind us now. The important thing is that we'll never be apart again. Remember, but do not cling to the hatred. We must sever present from past. For our future, for our children. Repent for our past and dedicate ourselves to reform. Not only can we do this, we must. Let us build a future in Valeria, a future where we all live as one. A future of peace. Glory to Valeria! Thank you, Denim. Oh, Father. No, oh, Father, I will not leave your side now. I understand how you must feel. You have done much. All that was required of you, and of your sisters as well. But your labors are done on the morn. Let me shoulder your burden. 
You can... You can do as you like for once. Live your own life, Olivia. Father... Do not be concerned on my account. All will be well. Go with him, Olivia. With him. Wait for me, Denim. I will be there soon. Father, I kept my promise. I saved her. <laughs> Listen to me, Denim. You must save Kashua. You are the only one who can. You can lead her to her rightful destiny. Do this. For us. For the... <laughs> Father! No, it is not about you. Become a stone along the path to our salvation. You must look with clear eyes, Denim. Make the right choice. <coughs> Lead us along the true path. Make our way. Do this. Only this. You mustn't talk. You, you must rest. Me. Father! I leave the rest to you, sister. You'll do fine. You hardly need my help. Your coronation should be taking place in Heim about now. Monarch of Valeria in name and truth. <laughs> Canopus has gone back home, taking Brynhilde with him. I owe you my thanks for a great many things, Denim. No, we would never have prevailed without your help, Canopus. <laughs> That's good to hear. And I'm sure Lancelot and Old Warren would be happy to hear it, if they were still with us. Hmm. We don't know they're dead, Canopus. Don't you worry about it, Denim. It's not your fault they're gone. We came to this isle of our own will, you know. We were here on royal duty, after all. We were here to fight alongside you. But I should imagine you're right. They're out there, somewhere. Uh, tide's right. High time we set sail. Farewell, Denim. I look forward to seeing you again one of these days. So long, Sprout. Our best to the Queen. But, Canopus, if Lancelot should return... It's all right, Denim. It's all right. Look, when things settle down here, you should come to Zenobia. We'll be waiting for you. Come, see the place Lancelot was born. The place he gave his life for. Promise me you'll come. I will. Ah, no looks from you now. Time to be a man, boy. 
Ah, that's right. Give a grin. Things aren't as bleak as they seem. Ha 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 ha! Now where have I heard that before? Hey! Who was laughing when Martin planted you in the ground like a potato? Anyone ever tell you you'd look good on a skewer, bird legs? Anyone ever tell you you'd look good hanging off the bow, catching barnacles in your beard? <laughs> it's not just my sister. Many have gone their own ways since the war's end. A friend left Heim recently. You're truly leaving? But the coronation is only a week away. It is a pity I will miss the coronation, but this old body needs rest. Besides, the longer I linger here, the more they badger me to return to the academy. If I'm to teach, I prefer the countryside over the city. I plan on returning with Volcourt to the lass's home and start a small school. I'm sorry, Denham. I feel that we should stay in Heim to help with the transition, but home calls to me strongly these days. I never heard it during the fighting, but once things settled down, it's as though a cord within me, drawn too taut, has snapped. When I heard that Bayon and Falkert would be leaving Heim, I decided to join them. I'll return to my homeland and take my time deciding what to do next. We all owe you a great debt. You have our gratitude. I hope you will forgive me for not returning to the Order. I gave it much thought. The war may be over, but the rifts between peoples in this land run deep. Their wounds too grave to heal overnight. In the coming days, it will be words, not weapons, that will do the most good for this land. My regards to Kashua. We will watch over her from afar. Good travels to you all. I will write once we've settled down. Farewell! I look forward to the day when we meet again. You're leaving with these children for our Morica, then? They were born of Wallace to parents. The war may be over, but many still harbor doubts about the other clans. I think it best that these orphans were somewhere other than Heim. <sighs> the people must put aside such foolish fears. And they will. You'll see to that, I've no doubt. But these changes can't happen overnight. The Great Father might leap from mountain to mountain, but we move one step at a time. Will the Great Father lift the scales from their eyes? No good hoping for miracles. They're an illusion, however sweet. The change we seek is born one day at a time. Any who can't be thankful for the days they have are unworthy of miracles. Take these children. The war claimed their parents, but not their future. They have hope. It's you who gave them that, Denim. I have no doubt the seed you've sown will bloom and bear fruit. I, for one, look forward to that day. As do I. Must be going, Father. There's a journey I must make before Lotus returns. I want to see Lancelot's homeland, the kingdom he gave his life for. Who goes there? Friends of the Resistance, 
and no friends of yours. The Resistance? I expected a warmer welcome than this. <laughs> They're children. Wait, do you even know who we are? You're Lancelot, and that makes you my enemy. Uh, Lancelot is my name, true. How is it that you know me? It's been four, five years now, before the war with the Empire. They advanced, and we fled, vagrant in our own land. My wife fell ill, and before I knew it, she was gone. I considered following her into death. My thoughts often strayed down that path before battle, but her music box still sang of life and I knew it was not my time. My burden had not yet reached its end. I'm sorry. One young as you should never be forced to fight. But that's not the world we live in. Don't worry over me, father. I'll be back.
to shore, it's going to shore. We sail for Lodi's. 